Let's look at how the model we're going to build in this exercise would be represented in a spreadsheet. For the budget we are creating, we can forecast the unit price and unit cost for each period by product. I will change the forecast unit price for the hiking boots for January 2018 to be 10, so we can see the impact later. Note. In order to fit our three-dimensional data into a two-dimensional space, we've had to duplicate the block of data for unit cost. We're then going to do a budget for each region, starting with Massachusetts. I key in the volume, and if I wanted to, the discount percentage, and my gross margin is calculated for me. This time, we have a four-dimensional data set that we're trying to fit into a two-dimensional space. So again, we achieve that by repeating the two-dimensional block of data, margin measures by time, for each member of the product dimension. We then repeat this three-dimensional block in the sheet for each region and have a sheet for each region. The grey cells show the areas that are covered by formulae that are doing simple aggregation. For example, adding up the time periods. The green cells show the areas that are covered by formulae that are doing something different from aggregation. For example, revenue before discount times discount percentage. In the last tab, we can see that nearly everything is aggregation. In this example alone, we have 1,448 formulae. Let's see how we would do this differently in planning analytics. 